It takes nearly a week to make one Dokra statue. Artisans built the mold from mud and spend hours handcrafting the intricate details using strings of beeswax. Eventually, all of this will be lost to make way for metal. Tribes in India have practiced this art for 4,500 years. Rajendra was just 10 years old when he started learning the craft. But many artisans were forced to quit when India rolled out a controversial economic reform that threatened their livelihoods. Now, many are searching for more sustainable careers. We traveled to Chhattisgarh in India to see how this centuries-old tradition is still standing. Dokra art is more than a job for Rajendra, it's a passion. And his workshop has been a staple in the town of Kondagao for over 10 years. He starts each day by mixing rice husk with black soil to make the clay. This blend keeps the model from cracking. He leaves it to dry in the sun for two days. This layer of wet riverbed soil helps smooth out any bumps. Then, it's time to prepare the wax. Rajendra uses beeswax because it's strong and allows him to create intricate designs. He melts and strains it into cold water. The linen cloth catches impurities, like bee wings. The fire makes the wax more pliable and easier to shape into logs. Rajendra adds it to this pressing machine he inherited from his grandfather. The press stretches the wax into meter-long strings. This was once done completely by hand. Some other communities still use that method, but it takes a lot of time. Rajendra prepares the model for the wax, smoothing the surface with a file and rubbing it with a bean leaf. Slowly, he wraps the strings around the model to bring his ideas to life. The design he makes with the wax is printed on the wet soil underneath. He has to be careful not to leave gaps between the strings. Designing is Rajendra's favorite part of the process. It took him years to master, and precision is key here. He can spend a full day working on just one sculpture. He comes up with his designs on a whim and improvises as he goes. Most Dokra sculptures depict animals and deities from tribal folklore. Nandi is a sacred bull in Hindu culture and one of Rajendra's most popular designs. Many believe it brings peace and prosperity into the home. Rajendra has made hundreds of these sculptures over the years. He covers the model in another layer of soil. 
This method of creating two layers on both sides of the wax is called hollow casting. Regendra makes two holes at the base that will allow the wax to melt and make way for the molten metal. He covers the model in another layer of termite soil and creates a funnel around the wax strip. उस पाइप में पिघली हुई पीतल उसमें डाल देंगे तो जैसा जैसा मोम का अंदर बना हुआ है वैसा वैसा पीतल का रूप ले लेंगे Rajendra starts a fire in this brick furnace and uses wood from a forest nearby. He monitors the temperature throughout, keeping it at around 1300 degrees. The model sits in the fire for 2 hours until all of the wax melts away. If it's too hot, the model will crack and spoil. Wo lal hote jayega, puri lal eet ke sari lal dikhega aur metal pura melt ho jayega. रिजेंजा रिमूव इट फ्रॉम द फर्नेस विद अ मेटल रॉड तो हाथ बैठ जाता है जब वो मॉडल को अपन लोहे के सनसी से जब पकड़ते हैं तो वो अंडा के सरी वो रहता है लेकिन अपने को सनसी कहाँ पकड़ना है किस जगह में तो वो पूरा काम नॉलेजमेंट होता है ही मेल्ट पीसेस ऑफ स्क्रैप मेटल इंक्लूडिंग यूटेंसल्स एंड ओल्ड मशीन पार्ट्स Then he pours the molten mix into the channel and waits for it to cool down. Dokra art gets its name from the Dokra Damar, the nomadic tribe that popularized the craft across the country. Legend has it the tribe went from village to village selling the metal figurines of Hindu gods and goddesses in exchange for food. The art form continued to thrive into the 2000s, but that all changed in 2016. when india demonetized much of its currency in an effort to weed out illegal money and counterfeit bills overnight almost 90% of the cash in circulation was made worthless many customers stopped buying dokra art to save money it took the indian government 8 months to replace the bills in remote areas of chhattisgarh by the time it did Many Dokra artists who depended on cash sales had to quit the craft to make a living. We have no budget, no money, no money, no money. In the market, no money, no money. Like this. While Dokra is still popular, many artisans are still struggling. So Rajendra recognizes the importance of his work every time he breaks a mold and reveals his newest creations. This will not be right because. जैसे माँ का कोक में बच्चा रहता है वैसी है कि जब तक बाहर नहीं निकलेगा तब तक हमको मालूम नहीं रहता है कि पूरा बन गया कि खराब हो गया द राइजिंग कास्ट ऑफ रॉ मटेरियल्स इज फोर्सिंग दम टू सेल दर स्कोल्पर एट हायर प्राइसेज द नंबर ऑफ आर्टिस वर्किंग इन द ट्रेड हैज ड्रॉप्ड बाई न्यूली थर्ड इन द लास्ट थ्री डेकेट्स कि अब ये काम नहीं चलेगा कौन खरीदेगा ये तो कोई खाने पीने का चीज़ नहीं है एक बार बन गया तो सौ साल तक चल रहा है तो कहाँ से चलेगा ऐसा भी कई हमारे शिल्पियों का मन में आता है भावना लेकिन ऐसा नहीं है बट इट्स नॉट जस्ट अबाउट द मनी फॉर रजेंड्रा हिज अंकल जयदेव बागेल वॉज रेकग्नाइज एज अ मास्टर डोकर क्राफ्ट मैन बाई द इंडियन गवर्नमेंट एंड इवन अर्न अ स्टैचू इन खोडेगा फॉर हिज वर्क वो सारे कॉम को वो अंतर्राष्ट्रीय मार्केट तक पहुंचा चुके हैं नाउ रजेंड्रा इज कंटिन्यूइंग हिज लेगेसी ही ट्रेंड ओवर 200 हंड्रेड पीपल एंड हेल्प दम सेल दर वर्क डिस्पाइट द हार्डशिप्स ही मैनेज टू कीप हिज बिजनेस अ फ्लोट ही सेल्स मेनली इन गवर्नमेंट फंडेड शो रूम्स एंड मेक्स अराउंड फोर्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज और फाइव हंड्रेड यू एस डॉलर अ मंथ He's shown his work in exhibits across India and has won two national awards. This kaam ko pakad ke kiya to wo main us rashtrapati ke sath khana khaya, pradhan mantri ke sath khana khaya, baitha, ghuma, desh duniya mein gaya. To jo cheez mere ko mila to wo cheez mere purojak ka den hai. But that's not the reality for most small scale artisans who make around 7000 rupees a month. less than half the monthly average for most workers 
and many dokra-making families are encouraging their kids to work different jobs. Rajendra believes his traditions molded him, and he wants to do the same for future generations. अभी तो हम लोग एक चिट्टी भर जगह में तक हमारा सामान नहीं पहुंचेगा हम तो एक छोटे से गांव में सौ लोग हैं मेरे ढोकरा का अर्थ एक तो मेरा खानदानी काम है मेरे लिए तो बहुत गर्व का बात है फिर मैं इसी मैं पढ़ा लिखा नहीं हूं तो मेरे लाइफ के लिए तो बहुत बड़ा महत्व है कि मैं ढोकरा ही करता रहूँगा और तो रहता ही चला रहूँगा आगे बढ़ाऊँगा इसको